We have reached the end of a beautiful whole house remodel. We touched everything in this home, including enhancing the curb appeal. The owners wanted to add a little interest on the front of the house and of course, have guests be able to stand under a roof at the front door. So we added this covered porch with a standing seam metal roof, stamped concrete, stoop, stair, and sidewalk out to the driveway to really have a great effect when you walk up to this house. This home was actually in a home show in the 1990s when it was new. But ever since then, there's been a variety of remodeling projects by different owners throughout the years that really left it in disrepair. We took everything out. We've started from scratch. Every project starts with structure. And in this home, when it was built, there was an ill-placed post right here at the bottom of the stairs. So we wanted to get rid of that just to have more flow when you came down to this nicely finished basement. We had to add a big steel beam in this area to increase the span and be able to get rid of this post. That required that we tore concrete out over here to put a new footing under that. And as we were researching the engineering for that, we found there were some structural deficiencies from the day the home was built. All that required was breaking up a lot of concrete in the basement, pouring new footings so we could create this new layout and fix the original problems. A big decision on every project is what material to use on your basement floor. In this exercise room, they wanted a hard surface and they chose this vinyl plank. Vinyl plank is very durable, goes in quickly, but one thing that you gotta be aware of on a basement floor is no concrete is perfectly level. There's little waves in it, there's dips and peaks, and that will transfer through to your flooring, and you'll get a spongy feel in the dips or a visual high spot on the peaks. So what we do is come in and grind down the high spots, fill in the low spots, so this floor is flat and straight and feels good everywhere. When we have a walkout basement, the deck is on the main floor, and that means you're always looking out under and walking out under the main floor deck. And you end up seeing all the treated lumber that's a little rough. The framing is just not very pretty. So what we've started doing is we sand all the posts, we round over the edges, and then we use a stain that's matched to the decking on all of the framing material. And it just creates a lot more pleasant look without going to extreme lengths to finish off the underside. So we added a porch on the front of the house to increase the curb appeal, but we also added a covered roof over the back walkout door. In this ceiling, we have natural finished poplar. Poplar has traditionally been a wood that people paint because it paints up nice and smooth, but lately we've just been putting a clear finish on it. It's got a real unique and warm color that comes from that. Decks are a big part of the outdoor living space and homes, and we've got a lot more options than we used to have. For many, many years, we just used wood decking and wood railings. And wood is beautiful when it's brand new, but no matter how hard you try, when you stain it, you sand it, you put it in perfectly, it just doesn't last very long without maintenance. This is a Trex brand composite decking. It's PVC coated. There's all kinds of colors available. It doesn't rot, it doesn't warp, it doesn't mildew. All it needs is a light cleaning every now and then, and you can just enjoy it for many, many years. This is a Westbury brand metal railing. It's actually powder coated aluminum, so it truly will last forever. The vertical cable design just creates a light and airy look, and it just doesn't obstruct your view at all. Part of our design process is imagining how the owners will use the outdoor space and then we create a deck that will serve those needs. This upper level will be a dining table and the grill. Lower level, there's will be chairs around a fire pit for entertaining. Two specific uses, two specific designs.
Most people walk into their home from the garage into the mudroom. And this mudroom was a real mess when we started. There were doors colliding, very tight and cumbersome for the family to get in all at once. So what we did is we opened some things up, reconfigured in a way so no doors are hitting each other. And we actually added 11 inches of space in, by pushing into the garage. What that created is the opportunity to have lockers, of course our washer, dryer, sink, and coat closet, and then added cabinetry and countertops on this side of the room as well. So a little amount of space put in just the right place can solve all kinds of problems. A clean and well-organized house requires a clean and well-organized garage, and we've got all the features in place to make that happen here. We've got the epoxy-coated floors, which it looks super good, and it makes cleanup easier. And we added a trench drain at the bottom so we can hose things down in the wintertime to keep the sand and dirt and salt off of the floors. Getting things off the floor of the garage and up on shelves is critical for organization. So we've got these two tiers of deep shelves to be able to put all of the things that you need to make life work. This kitchen is elegant and we've got warm features by adding natural materials. We've got granite countertops, We've got handmade tile on the backsplash that has an irregular look. And we've got this plaster coated hood. To create this hood, we frame a wood substrate to the curve and then several coats of plaster are skimmed on it. And then it is sanded and rubbed with a colored wax and it gives it an old world patina that really adds richness. The kitchen previously did have an island, but it was small and the cooktop was in it and it just wasn't very usable. So it was important to the owners to be able to have a big island with enough space for people to sit around. So we came up with this unique design where it's three-sided seating. And to add interest, we've got thicker granite countertop on the island than we have on the perimeter cabinets. Coffee is important to life and it is really important to these owners. They've got two machines and this area is built to fit those perfectly with supplies above. So it's functional and it is a really beautiful feature in this kitchen. A focal point of this home is the fireplace. Two stories tall, white oak paneling, draws your eye right on down to this plaster surround and this beautiful white oak wood floor. Often we install a raw wood floor and people want it to be just that color. Problem is when we put finish on it, even though we call it a natural finish, it makes it darker, changes the look. This is the first time we use this white seal coat on this white oak floor and it basically gives it the color of how the wood is when it's unfinished, yet it's protected with this good hard finish over the top of everything. In a big room with lots of windows, for privacy and for sun management, shades are important. These are Pella windows and they've got shades between the glass and they're motorized. So you can open them with the push of one button. With every remodel, we get the opportunity to make everything just right for the owners and fix old problems. We used to have a bathroom, small closet, and a weirdly huge room on the front of the house that they just didn't have a use for. So now we've created these beautiful, comfortable spaces. We've got walk-in shower, tub, space for a sauna, and a absolutely beautiful and fully functional master closet with a his and hers side, island in the center, lots of room for everything. <music> Aside from the aesthetic improvements, we have made this house solid. We changed the subfloor, we fixed everything behind the walls and under the floors, updated the heating and cooling system, fixed plumbing problems, rewired it, 
This house is set for many decades to come and it is exactly what the owners want. Fully remodeling an existing home is a tremendous endeavor that requires lots of effort from carpenters, subcontractors, suppliers, designers, the owners, and me working closely together for months with the objective to elevate their home so they love it like they love their land and they love their neighborhood. And we aren't finished until they do love it and everything is perfect.